Now this is the kind of thing I was trying to articulate a little early on. Out of position, O'Sullivan. Well, we thought he'd played a good safety shot with the cue ball close to that ball cushion. And then, fancy cutting that one in. Oh. Where's he found that from? Got it. Oh, I'll tell well, you what. He's hit the ground running here, Phil. How well has he cued that? Well, he's spotted four or five crackers already. Twenty. Well, <laughs> what can you say? That's outrageous. What a part that is. Oh, I didn't think that was on. Caught it clean. 29. Not this time. Oh, that's kicked. That was a definite kick. The black has gone across the table. What a time to get a kick. And that was a thumping contact. Look at this. Just straightened like you wouldn't believe. Defied the laws of physics. Across the table with the cue ball. Gone around the table. Needs to avoid the colours and he's done it beautifully. He's on this bottom red. Well, what about that for a shot? Oh. Brilliant. <coughs> no, missed that. Hang on, calling all pockets. He nearly got three reds there. <laughs> Well, he didn't take it into bulk. He decided to play on one. What a pop that is. Brilliant recovery. He's given himself the chance to win the frame. Oh, don't go in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, there, he could have done with a, a kick on the black. Poised to take it, suffered a thunderous kick on a black that caused the ball to straighten and miss the target. The frame before the interval. Potted a red, chipped in the black simultaneously. O'Sullivan cleared up. But, as you can see from that, Trump is still punching. <laughs> you always run the risk of knocking Eight. a ball in, and he nearly did it again there with a the red to the middle. That would have been so unlucky. This is not guaranteed. Oh. Oh. Did that go in, Phil, by the way? Well. It was one of those, sh one of those shots where you were... Happy that your finger wasn't on the, the back of the pocket at the time. <laughs> yeah. He's hit it too well. Look where he's finished. Uh, this is one of those, just make sure of the pot, you know, then let the rest happen. Foul. Well, foul. he doesn't mind Four. that. Running he's not bothered about seven. giving away the seven points. Where the white's finished, he's, he's got away with that. If it had left Ronnie a red on, it could have been a disaster. Absolutely right, Mike. If the red that went in had jangled around in the jaws of that ball pocket and stayed right over the pocket, that potentially would have been a lot more destructive than a mere seven penalty points. This goes in. It's 4-2.
Well, there's no doubt that at least two frames could have gone the other way. Great pot there from Judd. He takes the opening bread. He could really do with capturing these next two. I mean, even if he gets one, actually, Phil, 5-3 going into tonight's session is not bad, but he'd like it to be 4 all. There we go again. <laughs> he doesn't mess about with those, does he? No hesitation. Six. Well, it was just about where the cue ball was going to finish. Seven. It's not bad because he's left-handed. At least he's got a pot on the black. Took a risk there, positionally wise. This has to go in, though, and he's got it. This time, the black was kind to him. Trump might have the psychological edge. Yeah, not a great break-off from Judd either, leaving this red out. There you go. You can't leave those out at this level. Yeah, I think it was important, Phil, that Judd got the last one because the wow. worst-case scenario, as you said, was only two frames, but if it had gone 5-2, it could have been 6-2. Great red from Ronnie, though. Got the brown to the middle. I don't know what he was thinking. He might have just glanced the red on the way through, but, he, well, well, he's having a go. This is pure needle. Looks good, you know. Oh, well played. Look where the red's finished. Nice little cannon into the blue. What a recovery pot that is. Didn't back away from it. Chance for Ronnie. <coughs> oh. Ronnie might have covered the black. Great red. Wow. Is he on this black? Well, the shake of the head says no, but he can lay a snooker behind the yellow. Just look at this. Now, those are the ones that were going in yesterday. He struggled a bit today, so far. The yellow taking away a lot of that right-hand side cushion as we're looking. Well, he's done well to hit the red, but it might cost him the frame. It was one of those, um, uh, you know, it's some days you get away with them, some days you don't. So Ronnie here with a chance to put the finishing touches to this final frame of this first session to lead 5-3. Oh, well, you don't often see that where a player goes into the pack of reds from a red, but, well, is he on a colour? He's on the pink to the middle. It was on every colour a moment ago, and then reds came and blocked pockets. Well, that's a statement of intent for me. He's uh, shown Ronnie O'Sullivan he's going to attack this evening. And the yellow obviously passes the red to the green pocket. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to get them under pressure. He got Mark Selby under pressure yesterday in the semi-final. Well, what a fluke. Probably going to win him the first frame. Could have lost him it there. He left a red on. And down it goes. And that cue ball just kept running and running and running. I thought it struck it well. And the table seems to be playing a little faster. Well, he could just about get it, and he played for the red next to the black. What a great pot. Every chance of the century now. Well, how about that for confidence? 
He knew the cue ball was going into the other red. He expected it to go back down the table, but it was always going into that other red. Because if you didn't finish on that red, it may not be on anything. Oh, he's missed the blue. 26. Well, that's incredible. Did he get a kick? I, I don't know. Thank I can you. only assume he did. Difficult to tell from that. Not a good break off from the left handed break. Could be costly. Wow. Do you know, I was just thinking before you broke off that if this goes the distance, he'll have the break off shot in the decider, which could be a big shot, and that's why. Because Trump's got in straight away. Long straight red to the corner. Well, I did say it was straight. He was hoping to wobble the cue ball, stay on the black. Good queuing, though. So, a chance. Needs to slow down. It's into them. And it's worked out nice, unless that red goes in. Oh, my word. He was in, he'd won the title there for a moment. Over the red. And although he can pop the pink, I don't think he can get to a red. Because he'd be on the red if he missed it. Blue ball. Oh, what a fantastic pot that was. My word, that was a shot and a half, that one. He was out of the tournament. 24. He'd lost the championship had that one not gone in. What a shot. 25. Yes, fearless. Didn't have much of an angle. He had a slight one. He potted the red a little thick. Oh. One. What a good pot. What a good pot that was. Had he been directly behind that, that would have been a good pot. But from the ball cushion. Well, he couldn't have asked to play that any better. He's got another red he can play for. Come down for that loose red. Well, he's on the red. Yes, he's passed a little psychological test and he's surely going to be so delighted. He's not going to finish with another century unless he pulls out something special. Hang on. Was Hang that on. special? <laughs> wow. What a shot. Incredible shot. Get in. Get in. Well, an incredible final between two crowd pleasers. And Judd Trump from 8 6 down has pulled it off. What a satisfying moment for him.
Yeah, no, Judd played brilliant today. He deserved, he deserved to win that match um, by, my, by a mile. I've done well to get eight frames, really, because I, I stole a few frames. He got a few kicks when he was in amongst the ball. So, you know, he deserved to win. He played the much better snooker today. And, you know, I just want to say well done to him. Uh, I, was, I was a bit frustrated to be 6'6". Um, six, six, so, well, very frustrated. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't happy. And um, then I had a couple of chances and my, and my head was still a little bit... A little bit fried from um, that kick to, to go 7-5, and um, I kind of just thought, um, just just go out and go for it. Now um, I potted a good a good blue under pressure into the top pocket, and then a lot of blues under pressure. I missed a few, and I potted a good a good one, um, and then it was a, I just I didn't really miss anything in the last three frames. I uh, I just played some good safety, and um, yeah, held myself together, took my time, and just, just potted him. So now you have three new things. A new queue, a new car, and a new trophy. Which one is closer to your heart? The trophy. The trophy. Dragi domnilor, câștigătorul Masters-ului European București 2016, Jack Trump.